and welcome to Pelagatos, which is, well, essentially just south of Cadiz and is an industrial estate. So why am I here? I came for a ride on the brand new tram Bahia, which got me from Cadiz in an hour and it's a tram train. So yes, it runs on, on the mainline tracks out of Cadiz and again, a little bit later on, it, it has its own dedicated railway and then it also passes through the various towns along the way as a tram. And actually, it's been quite a nice little ride. So what I'm going to do is whiskey back to Cadiz and uh, I hope you enjoy the journey and I'll see you back here later. Cadiz is an ancient city that was founded by the Phoenicians in around 1100 BCE and there's been a port here since the 7th century BCE. The narrow streets of the old town give the feeling of what this rich and bustling port city must have been like hundreds of years ago. And the many plazas, both large and small, create spaces where the city can breathe. I've only had an afternoon here and I definitely look forward to returning. But right now, we've got a tram train to catch, so we'd better get over to the station, or stations. Because to reach the station, you must first pass the original station buildings, which date from 1895, which are currently being converted into a massive market and food court. Cadiz has many media distancia services to Seville throughout the day. It also has three Alvia gauge-changing high-speed services each day direct to Madrid, which take around 4 hours and 15 minutes. The new station, dating from 2002, hides behind the original station and reflects the Spanish high-speed railway vernacular of concrete, steel and glass. It has just six platforms, with two dedicated to local trains and tram train services. So I need to work out how to buy a ticket and get myself on the platform. So in the meantime, it's probably time to have a look at the route for today. Cadiz sits proudly on the northwest corner of the Bay of Cadiz, and our tram train will travel down through the main city until it crosses from the peninsula into the sister city of San Fernando, where it becomes a tram and we have many, many stops as we wiggle through the main street. Just beyond San Fernando, we take another short hop across the salt flats until we come to the town of Chiclana de la Frontera. And once dropping off our passengers there, the tram train will terminate at Pelagatos, which marks the end of the line and also houses the Tram Bahia maintenance facility. The total distance travelled will be 24 kilometres, of which 10 kilometres is on the national rail and a further 14 kilometres on the new light rail line. And the journey will take just over one hour. Our ride today is a three-coach CAF Urbos light rail vehicle. As you can see, we have level boarding and we board through the higher level doors. And there's a decent number of passengers considering this is 1pm on a very cold December day. And the Iberian loading gauge definitely gives a feeling of more width and height than you might get in a similar vehicle in the UK. And departure is on time and very quiet and the acceleration is certainly adequate for a tram or a train. The escalators at the end of the platform also lead to a bridge to the main bus station which is situated on the other side of the tracks. Cadiz station handles about 1.2 million passengers a year, with 350,000 of them being through Sicanius Cadiz. It will be interesting to see how those numbers change now that there is Tram Bahia as well. San Severiano marks the start of the underground section of the line. Estadio is home to Cadiz Club de Football. At Cortadura, we leave the underground section and head off across the causeway. I think this would make a lovely walk on a sunny day with a view of the bay and also the trains to watch go by. What's not to like? As we're still on the main line, our tram train really gets a wriggle on along this section. As we get onto the mainland, we come upon the Selena Dolores salt marshes, which include the old salt pans. At Rio a Rio, we diverge from the main line onto our own tracks.
vamos Entiendo. haciendo, ¿no? A ver no. lo que hace. Si se queda, si se... We also make a driver change here and the old one gives us a wave goodbye. Now on our own dedicated line we swoop over the main line and the dual carriageway heading for San Fernando. I'm not sure the video does it justice but the descent into Ardila is really steep. And now the platforms resemble tram stops more than railway stations. And now everything gets a whole lot more trammy, including a tram bell as we enter San Fernando proper. Initially though, we still have our own central reservation for the tracks. But soon we say goodbye to the AstroTurf track bed as we squeeze onto the main street. After the Plaza del Carmen, there's a short single track section as the road becomes much narrower. This is really proving a great way to see San Fernando. Today I paid a walk-up price for the adult return from Cadiz to Pelagatos of €5.70 or £4.92 and I think that reflects reasonable value. And once again, we have to breathe in and squeeze between the buildings. Also, we can skirt the Christmas market in the Templete de la Alameda. And as we enter the plaza, we get a fantastic view of the San Fernando City Hall. And the Christmas tree is up in Plaza de la Iglesia. Apparently these CAF tram trains run on 100% renewable energy at 750 volt DC on the dedicated sections and 3 kilovolt DC on the national network. Venta de Vargas marks the last stop in San Fernando and so we get our AstroTurf runway back. And now it's time to be a train again for the quick dash to Chiclana de la Frontera. Oh, and here's your seat review. Yep, they're plastic chairs, but they're pretty comfortable nevertheless. And with Tres Caminos behind us, we can get up to our top speed of 100 kilometers per hour. As we race the traffic, a little bit about the history of this line. Construction began way back in 2008, but due to the financial crisis, the first passenger train did not run until the 26th of October, 2022. And so from initial inception to the delivery, the whole project took a whopping 20 years to complete. But it's here now, and it's the only example of a tram train anywhere in Spain. It will soon be time again for our tram train to put away its running shoes as we enter the streets of Chiclana de la Frontera. But there's no AstroTurf here though, instead between the tracks we have some very nice green block paving. There is currently a fleet of 10 sets of CAF tram trains operating the service. And things are getting tight again here, so we're back down to single track. We get a brief chance to run alongside the river Iro before plunging back into the streets.
próxima parada. By my estimation, La Jolla marks the last station that many of the locals will use. And now we've just got one last little hop to Pelagatos. But by now on board, there's just me and a chap that works for the railway. Right, we're back here with the tram. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little ride through Cadiz and the towns just slightly to the south. I certainly did. Thanks very much for coming on this ride from Cadiz down through all the towns to Pelagatos. I hope you enjoyed the little ride and if you did, well, give it a like and also consider subscribing to the channel as I release a new video every Friday. But in the meantime, from an industrial estate just outside Cadiz. Thank you very much for watching. So here I am sat on the tram train ready to return to Cadiz from Pelagatos. I'll have a quick walk around the train right now because it's very empty. Well, the seating is, as you'd expect, fairly uh, utilitarian. As you can see, totally flat access. And there's also, there's a wheelchair lift here, or I suppose for anybody who needs it, which gets you onto the higher level entry doors which you will need when you get to major stations like Cadiz and uh, uh, you've got accessible seating and then generally the passenger cabin here very bright and airy and certainly looking like it's only been in service for a couple of months so there it is Tram Bahia looking lovely